Hi guys, it's Mark from HeroTech Systems and in this video we will be learning how to connect end devices to uh, an Ethernet switch in Cisco Packet Tracer and how to assign static IP addresses to these end devices so that they can communicate over the layer 2 network. Uh, this is the fourth lesson of the Cisco Packet Tracer training for beginners. If you've missed the first video on how to in download and install Cisco Packet Tracer for your computer, uh, if you've missed the second video on how to bring up the Cisco iOS, if you missed the third video on, on how to configure host name banners line password password encryption uh, for your Cisco router uh, Cisco device in general um, the link to these tutorials uh, are in the are in the description uh, please uh, visit uh, the link uh, watch the video uh, to get updated uh, so without further ado let us go right into packet tracer and uh, uh, connect our end devices to uh, the Ethernet layer 2 switch. So uh, this is the Cisco Packet Tracer interface and I'll be bringing up the switch. So you can come down right here you see switches. Uh, I'll bring up the Cisco 2900 series switch this is a 2960 and uh, I'm just going to connect a few end devices so I come to my end devices here uh, I bring a laptop I bring another laptop uh, I bring a PC uh, let's let's get a, a printer in there uh yeah i think this is fine okay uh okay let's take this guy i want a server i want a server so I delete this pc and then i bring in a server i don't want to add too many devices because i'm going to be assigning static ip uh which it's going to increase the typing task if I have too many devices because I have to now manually go into each of them uh, one by one to assign the IP address which will take a lot of time so I'm going to be using the uh, copper straight through cable uh, to learn more about cabling types uh, media types in general uh, if you are new to networking, you want to learn networking technologies, I've written a guide uh, that explains um, these technologies in a summarized fashion. Uh, the link to that guide is in the description below. So I'm, gonna, I'm just going to connect to the Ethernet, the Ethernet ports of the switch. So I click and then I click the device click on the cable click on the device and come to the first Ethernet port here and then click on this one as well on the switch and then locate an Ethernet port and connect it to it so I'll do this for the others and then for the printer so you see that it's um, having this amber light here is going through the spanning tree states it is going through the spanning um, tree uh, uh, states so when it shows this um, triangle uh, green triangle it shows you that the pot is up and is ready for communication so um, okay so all my ports are up and ready um, 
okay so i'm going to go into the devices now to configure uh the ip addresses now for the for the devices to communicate they all have to be in a, so you come to this desktop tab here let me how i got how i got here so i click on the on the laptop i want to assign this an ip address and i'll come to ip configuration so i click on it it's already on static ip so i'm just going to give it a 10.10.0.0 10 .0 with a slash notation of eight i talked about ip addressing in the first video where i did a point-to-point -point topology uh the link to that is also in the description so 10.0.0.3 okay 255 slash 8 255.0.0 as the mask for the server i gave it 10.0.0.4 the same thing uh for this printer okay so i'm going to set the ip address set to static here so i'm going to set yes so i click on this first ethernet port that's the ethernet port and i will set uh this is ip configuration so how did i get here uh i was here um, i was on set global settings uh, but i come to interface and click on fast ethernet zero to get the ip configuration so 10.0.0.6255.0.0.0 so can do that so all my devices have been assigned an ip address now for devices to communicate on the network they need to be assigned an ip address i stated this in my first video and um uh the it's not just enough to assign them an ip address they have to be assigned an ip address in the same subnet so if you look at this if i hover around uh, you will see that all of them have been assigned an ip address They've all been assigned an IP address in. Okay, this 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 not going. Okay. Let's see. I'm trying to hover around it. Okay, so you see they've all been assigned an IP address of slash eight. So if I come here and do this, slash eight, which is the CIDRO uh, value for the submit mask of 255.0.0.0. So you can see slash 8 and also slash 8. So they have to be on the same network for them to be able to communicate. And that is what. If you don't understand anything about IP addressing, you want to learn more about IP addressing, remember the guide which I talked about earlier that explains network technologies in a uh, summarized way, uh, in a way that you can move from beginner to intermediate level uh, in record time. Uh, please, the link to that guide is down below in the description section. Click the link and download the video. Uh, I mean the the guide. So now we're going to test connectivity. Um, we'll test connectivity. Okay. Um, so I'll close this guy here, and then I'm going to come to my command prompt and run a ping. A ping is a program in networking that we use to test connectivity. I'm going to ping. Uh, I'm I'm on the first laptop, laptop one. I'm just going to ping 10.0.0.2. So I'll put this on. I'll ping it. You can see I am getting replies. So I'm going to ping dot three, which is the other IP address to the dot three. I'm getting reply. Um, if I ping 10.0.0.6, you see I'm getting replies. So, um, 
I'm going to come here. This is 10.0.0.6. I'm going to try to ping. I don't know if I can ping from this device. Okay, no, I can't ping from the. I can't ping from the, the printer. But then you can see that uh, 10.0.0.6 is the last um, uh, address which I pinged, and I'm getting reply from the printer. So if I ping from, can I ping from the server? Let's see. Let's see. Uh, okay, yes, I can get to the prompt of the server and ping the first um, la laptop, which is 10.0.0.0. .0 .0 .0 .0 .0 .0. Is it one or two? I can't remember. I think it's two. I gave it. I gave it two. Two, yes. So you see why I am not getting replies because 10.0.0.1 .0 is not assigned uh, to any of these hosts. So I'm just. So cancel, I'm just going to use Ctrl Z. Okay. Uh, so I'll ping 10.0.0.2. Uh, if you want to do a continuous ping on, in Packet Tracer, you just do this. Uh, dash T and then the IP address. 0 0 0 2. Uh, so you can see it's a continuous ping. So I'm getting replies which shows that it is working and they are connected. So control Z, control C, control C would stop it. Uh, so uh, thank you very much. If you found this video um, useful, please don't forget to like the video. That's the only way we can uh, get more viewers to see the video, we'll get YouTube to push the video to more viewers. Um, please subscribe to the channel. Uh, to grow the channel and then uh, hit the notification bell so that anytime I upload a new video you'll be notified and do not forget to share the video thank you very much for your time